Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time today. We're going to take a look at a 2023 Jayco Eagle model number 317 RLOK. Big rear living room on this guy with an outside kitchen. Bedroom slide up front. Just a hair over 11,000 pounds. You buy a trailer when you want to be someone. You buy a Jayco Eagle when you are someone. And I'm here with my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brendan Hannemeyer on the camera today. Say hello, Brendan. What's going on, happy campers, future campers, and fellow salespeople? Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. You should smash that like and subscribe button. Click it even. We're putting some awesome content like this out all the time. We're also on Instagram, TikTok, and we're on Facebook. So you should follow us along there as well. Enjoy this high-end eagle. Right on, Brendan. The whites on these eagles are just so bright and clean. It looks great. We got orange eyebrow lights. The black portion of this cap is painted. We got some cool little headlights in through here too. The rhino box, uh, pin box in through there. They now have options to upgrade that to a motor ride. So you can always get into something like that. We have our rougher style storage here, our battery storage here, four point electric auto leveling on this guy as well. And then we have our propane tanks over through here. These come standard with the 30 pounders. There is space here to put 40s. You can see the height in through there would allow you to do that. We got our pass-through storage here. This is really well finished off, right? It's got this kind of rhino uh, liner in through here, which is really, really durable. We've got our motion sense of light, a light uh, receptacle out through here, our battery disconnect, and our power inverter, which is an option on this guy. Third, uh, our three gate valves are in through here, heated off the furnace and our pass-through storage. Uh, you have your winterizing spot here, your city water connection there, your black water flush kit, outside shower, water pump switch, all that kind of stuff is done from there. Furion on-demand water heater, furnace vent, 50 amp detachable style cord, 16 inch Goodyear endurance tires with the Moride Cree 3000 suspension. There's one of your legs there for the auto leveling system. A roof ladder, get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. Class three receiver here in the back with four way wiring. This one's got the optional uh, observation system, which is a backup camera and side cameras on this as well. And then we come in down the door side here in our outside kitchen. We have our, you know, a little bit of counter space here with a receptacle and a USB, a drawer for your utensils, cupboard space through here, a two and a half cubic foot electric fridge, and then there's a J port piece here that's going to fit into this hookup with an outside griddle where you're outside here at your outside kitchen cooking with gas. Our secondary electric awning is right through here, comes off our main slide ends right here and then our main awning starts here goes all the way forward covers our main door part of the observation system isn't just the side cameras and the rear camera it's also got that additional uh like door monitor so you can actually see if someone's at your front door on that screen which is super slick here's that griddle uh bracket we've got another uh motion sense of light here with an outside spray port our four step aluminum tread step is secure right to the ground. It is cable assisted, so it's nice and easy to lift that up. Plus, it's not gonna fall down on you when you open up your door. How are you feeling, Brendan? Feeling great. All right, let's go see what kind of travel access we have. We're gonna have nice, easy access to the washer and the bedroom. And we're also gonna be able to get to half of our fridge right through here and our freezer right here above. Let's get this thing opened up. Right on folks, we're inside that Eagle 317 RLOK. This is what I meant by having a huge, big back, opposing slide rear living room. Our outside kitchen is just hidden in behind an entertainment center right here. Uh, this TV is on an arm and there is a bunch of kind of bonus storage. Can you see that, Brendan? Yep. In through there, which is excellent. We have our fireplace down below, what else put that back? Fireplace putting out electric heat with our JBL sound system and then cover space here across the top of our outside kitchen for great depth in through there. There's an HDMI cord already run up in through here so you can put like a gaming system or a Apple TV in through there. 
windows across the back side. This one's got the optional dual pane window option. Right here, at our back side, we have a trifold style sofa. It's gonna pull out lengthwise. You can sleep two people here if they're in love. We've got receptacles and USBs. Big windows around the back side, cover space across the top side as well. And then our theater seats are right in through here. We get cup holders, we get a remote holder, we get manual reclining action and windows even on the off door side on this guy. Further to your right, we have our cover space there. We got our oversized microwave here. Kitchen window, glass stove top cover with three burner stove top, oven down below, and then drawers a drawer in through here for like pots and pans, that kind of thing. There is a drying rack and a cutting board that's gonna fill up the space here on our stainless steel sink. And then four more drawers down and through here. Now this has the optional gas electric fridge, which is 13 and a half cubic feet. You can option these in with the residential. Another wide drawer down here. And then right here's our pantry location in through there, motion sensitive light adjustable shelves. Pull to open. Liquid chalkboards, I feel like what you can do here is get those dry erase markers, leave your honey a to-do list in through there. Now, solid surface countertops, all, everywhere in the kitchen in through here, the undermount stainless steel sink, pull up faucet. This faucet right here is a designated spot to your Jayco jug down below, which you can see right there. Garbage can location, Good covered space shelving down there. Another covered drawer here. Another covered right in through here with our tower of power. We can also just charge our cell phone on the top of this guy too, which is super slick. Now, as we come in, we've got our pantry. We talked about that. We've also got our pantry slash closet. So what we can do is fold up this shelf right through there. Let me get this out of the way. You see what I'm talking about. Fold up this shelf, bingo bango, and hang up your coats in here as well. Depending on the season, I guess, Brendan. Right now you need the coats. You need the coats. In a couple months, no more. No more coats. All right, heading up into the, no, no, no. I forgot about our booth dinette. So we've got windows here on the door side, which is nice. We've got this ottoman in through here with the backrest. This ottoman's movable, so you can pull it out, have it across from the couch, and have a chair on either side however you want to do that. And you can also just do the uh, the freestanding table and chairs, like all four chairs in through here as an option. Then this is gonna fold up, give us storage. We can pull this out, give us a little more extension there on the tabletop itself. Got a nice fan, Got some nice, nice fan. lights. Nice sconce light. Yeah. We had a comment this week, Brandon, about showing off the ceiling more, like the vents and stuff like that. So let's try to do that. Porcelain toilet. Toilet paper holder, covered space there, seamless countertops, and then that navy blue finish. I tell you what, man, it, I love that finish. Very nice. Very, very nice. Just to give us something a little different here in the washroom. I'm six feet tall, nice glass shower doors. There's a seat I can sit down here and shave my legs. Coming out of the bathroom into the bedroom, we have a king size bed out in the slide, windows on both sides of the bed. A great closet here at the front with motion sensitive light. These are just the TV boxes. There's shelving built in through there, shelving on either side. And then you can also do like a side by side washer dryer there. Nice bedroom window in through here. Give that a second to raise up. <coughs> and then, Brandon, we finally have the elusive seven drawers. We got them. We got them. Four small ones on the top. Three big ones here in the bottom. And then a TV facing our king size bed. It's got the uh, the secondary AC and both of those ACs are quiet cool so they're gonna be a little quieter for you. With some storage here underneath the bed itself. We have two more chairs. Two more folding chairs. That, that does come on this uh, dinette action but you can option in four standard chairs if you want as part of the package there. Check that out, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> What is going on there? It makes sense that you just get four chairs. I know, but I was reading last night that there is like an optional dinette. Maybe it's like a, a fixed dinette. Maybe. All right. Well, we'll get to the bottom of that, folks. There's your screen right through there for the Furion 
uh, camera system, the side mount cameras, the door side camera, and the rear camera. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below. Have yourself a good day.